What's going on, everybody? It is Soundhead back once again. It was Soundhead Entertainment, and we are finally back in Wreckfest, back at Bristol, and back with a mod that we have not seen in some time. I'm not talking about the 90s mod, of course. We got that back once again, and we are here at Bristol because NASCAR is rolling through here this very weekend. But the mod that we are bringing back is the pinball mod. A lot of people have been asking for it, and it's finally time. So let's go get right into it. I'd say I have some reasonable fears about this. I mean, we're already playing bumper cars in immediately. Just immediately. My fears are realized in all of their glory. I mean, that was that was traumatic right there. But did we expect anything less if somebody just gets space forced over the top of me and nearly over the fence? Oh, Kyle, don't you do it. Kyle Bush. Oh, my God. And then we just get brutalized from behind just vicious oh and an explosion of cars we gotta get the hell out of here this is getting bad fast well, we gotta talk about that atomic ass pack and then i get one in the mouth oh my goodness this is falling apart fast this is this is our glorious return to pinball huh this is what we've been waiting for <laughs> this is car stuck in the middle of the track i need everybody out of the way right now paul menard shove me up into the wall this is not gonna go well i can't even get my car to move now Trying to get out of the way. Let's go. Oh boy, yeah, this is a minefield and a half. Don't anybody move. Oh, it was gonna be fine. And I'm in the pits, right in the box. We're done. It's good to at least know where you stand right off the bat. This, however, is not a good way to follow it up. Oh my, and we're up and over. We are up and over, bouncing off of what's left of Brandon Brown and his Jeff Gordon machine. That thing looked like it was sliced in half. I'm getting shoved back out of the track here against my own will, although that's really where I'd like to be. Just not in reverse, preferably. But I don't know that I really have a choice anymore. Look at the 23, just flip. Oh, okay, he's coming to put on more of a show. He's just flipping his life away. And still, man, somebody get that guy a paper bag. Oh, Regan, watch where you're coming down in the middle of the track. We got one part there dead. Oh my God, I was not the only one caught out by him. We're all wrecking. Oh, more people coming down to the lane. That's grand, and so is getting blown up from behind by William Pirate, and then just an explosion back there. Oh, uh, okay. Paul Menard just decided to drive straight across the track, head on into the wall. Why I could not tell you is there's a catastrophe in front of us here, and we get launched. We just got shot out of a cannon. Or a canyon if you're Benny Parsons, they're still flipping back. I got one stuck in front of me. Get out of the way. We got people getting slammed everywhere. And we're surviving. We're up to second. How in the hell are we up to second? Oh, watch it out, boy. Don't close the door on me. No. And back to the pit lane we go. That is just... That's just unfair. That's just cruel and unusual. Oh, it's... <laughs> my man up here is at Austin Dillon. Doing a little breakdance move in midair. That was kind of impressive. We've got a door to make it through, and we just squeak right by. That could not have gotten any tighter. Austin Dillon has recovered from his breakdance. It moves just enough to send me into the wall. And front row Joe gets the dub. Good for him, I guess. I get an atomic ass pack to celebrate this occasion with. Second one of the day, effectively. And I don't think it'll be the last. It'll be the last one for this race, unless something real bad happens right here. We're going to go flipping as we go to the line. Give me third and my death. I don't expect anything good to happen out of this middle lane, though, and it's falling apart quickly, although we're, we're living. Oh, my God. Please let me drive right through this. Please. No, Brandon Brown, you scum dog. You microbe actually ruined a beautiful days of thunder moment what a guy and then we get a pack for me and william byron yeah we uh oh, and yeah let's go ahead and bring it together buddy we got the little pack squad going don't we didn't need to rub fenders right there though that was highly unnecessary speaking of which i've just been punted i've never seen something more bristol than that oh we got one flip in the 21 of brendan Poole going for a ride down at the bottom of the track. We're making spots up right here. We got to get him while we can. We got Hankrum getting shoved by Jagger Jones. And Brandon Brown's coming for my life again. He's coming for my head. Second time in one race, this guy has got to give it up. Oh, we got somebody giving it up right in front of us. And it's Greg Galding going up in the air and still going to get us. Just sniped us. And then we get pummeled from the side. Was that Brandon Brown again? Dude, that was the Gordon car, was it? 
I tried so hard to miss Greg Galding during that too. He was just floating right in my lane. I had nowhere to go. And this is a process. We can have nowhere to go, Joey. Oh my God. We just packed the life out of Joey and he pays it forward to the 51 who is currently flying through the space time continuum. This guy, I mean, there's just a, just cars laying everywhere. It's a junkyard. Dale Jr. would be proud to call this home. There are cars flying up into the fence and riding it. I have no choice but to take the pits. What else can you do? It's the last lap. Does it count? It does count, but it doesn't matter. The dub has been taken. Oh, don't come down on me right there, Kyle. Oh, you guys. You guys are moving roadblocks. It's unbelievable. Oh, Kyle Busch just got yeeted. Absolutely yeeted and deleted. Just out of life. He's flying. And others are too. We're going to cross the line. <laughs> Just be happy we made it out of there alive. Oh, we get one right at the end. Oh, we got some lolly gagging going on in the outside lane and it's gone into the inside lane. We're getting knocked around. Oh, we're gonna get run over now. There's a lot of guys just got launched forward. We can shove barrel check a massive one. There's cars flipping all over turn one here. We are, how can, are we gonna be able to get through here? It's gonna be the real question. I'm not even using the actual corner and it doesn't matter. We're still getting smacked down on the apron. Nowhere is safe. Oh my god, look at this. We got blinky boys everywhere. Cars flying, tracks blocked, and we just gave Paul Menard one right to the mouth. Oh, that was a heavy hit. That was a heavy. Oh my god, and that guy just went flying and he sniped them. That was Paul Menard again who got hit too, man. No love for Paul Menard out here. Nobody's saving big money anywhere. We're wasting it right now. Rusty getting tossed around into the barrels. Another barrel check for the resume. Look at this guy. Oh my god, Alex LeBay, F in the chat. Oh, just stay away from me, buddy. Jagger Joe. Oh my goodness, we've got Jesus! Everybody's piling on top of each other. But those cars were already mangled. I was about to appreciate their level of just I don't even know what to call that. That's just disfigurement at this point. I don't know. And look at this guy! We're getting led to another one. This guy's even worse. Corey LaJoy. Oh, Corey, my boy, what have they done to you? Another hit. Corey's getting no respect out. Oh, another hit for Corey. It's over. It's done. Corey's down for the count, man. That was tragic and great, Golding. With maybe the greatest roadblock I've ever seen in my life that has ripped the wheel off. And this race is over. So Ed from the future checking in here. We have got some replays to observe. First of all, we got to discover what exactly happened to this guy. Our man Dale Donches over here, Corey LaJoy, got flattened right off the bat. So uh, just had nothing going for him there. Then he kind of runs into a pileup and just kind of gets covered up by a bunch of cars. He gets launched into the infield. A tough scene there. His steering wheel sticking out of the roof. That's always a bad sign. Don't want to see that behind the wheel. Then he gets ass packed pretty good right there. There's not really much of anything left back there to pack. But uh, I'd say they laid that one on there pretty good. That was a solid, you know, eight or nine on the scale. Then this one launches him all the way down to the corner, which is just about where we met up with him in the race. Oh, we get a hot start down on the bottom there. We got package going on up on the top. Oh, we're getting sent. We got got on the bottom for no reason at all, just minding my business. Couldn't have earned that any less if you tried. And now I gotta get through this mess. Paul Menard, which was our bad luck set, and he tries it again. I swear these guys. Oh my God, that was brutal. Kyle Busch just had a meeting with the fence and the fence won. And we just drove through that wreck like it was nothing. Did you see that? Oh, let the seas part right for you. And then let Greg Golding set himself up for the most gruesome ass pack. Maybe ever. Maybe of all time. Maybe not even close. Depends on how many videos you've seen. Jesus Christ, what is going on behind me? Oh, 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 cars everywhere. Get me out of here. Jagger Jones is pulling away from me and his roof is caved in. I'm not trying to feel about that. I know how to feel about this. I've been cut down in my prime. And I'm not happy about it. And I blame Jagger Jones wholeheartedly as I get packed into the pits. Neat. Great. 
Grand. Wonderful. Spectacular. Magnificent! I don't trust this at all. We've all made it to the first quarter and it's falling apart immediately as soon as I open my mouth. I should trust nothing at this point as Phil Parsons and I do a little synchronized flipping to recover ourselves and we'll get back on the track. Well, we get a little pack job there, but we'll keep it moving in the right direction as there's a tornado in front of us and those seas part once again, but not all the way. And we don't get all the way through it. Oh, and then we get our ass handed to us on a silver platter. Just ass overhead, basically, right there. I don't even know how else to describe that, but that was brutal. That was entirely unnecessary. I'm so scared of the packs. Now, Ross, please! Ross Chastain just takes us out, and we both suffer. Are you happy, Ross? Are you happy with what you've caused? Oh, my God. Brandon Brown's ass is gone, and it just got annihilated a little bit more. What is with the ass packery today? These are new levels of package that have never been seen before, so Joey's going for another ride. Now, what can I do about Jolo here? Will this car take care of him for me? Oh, and he crashed into a stationary Kyle Busch of all cars. And that has ended in my demise, effectively, as Brandon Brown's still kicking out there. Still getting tossed around. Oh, the Packery. That might actually help me right now, though. I'm trying to get home, but people being in my way isn't helping me. That car was destroyed. Regan with another one, and I get another one. Jeez. Just put me out of my misery already. This is tough. Oh, Greg Aldi did not get the hot start that I got. Oh, this could cause problems. This could cause major problems. It has. It has caused lots of problems. Oh, ride it out. Ride it out. No, oh, we got launched again into the fence. Oh, that was looking good for a second. That was almost, that was almost hot. Oh, that was almost great. But it looked like it was almost certainly going down the drain. And this is getting ugly fast, but we're somehow alive. Somehow, some way, we're living. Oh my, okay, that's a bad sign when you see a car come full speed out of the corner in reverse. And then we just pack Rusty Wallace and do a bit of a backflip on our own there. I, I knew that was a sign. I knew it was a sign. Destruction ahead. Sometimes the Wreckfest gods do give us signs to blatantly ignore. Oh, man, what a pack job right there. Phil Parsons coming right in my face. Oh, that was close. Oh, man, I just couldn't slide it through the middle of that, could I? Had to clip Brennan Poole, just barely hanging on the track, and now I'm not fitting through anywhere. I'm just getting blasted across the track. Oh, my God, Kyle Busch just screamed as I'm spawning back on the track. That was remarkable. That was, oh man, what do I do here? There's nothing to do. There's nothing you can do. Just got to go around. Gee, Jagger Joe is just forming the road by that second place. Why pass him? There you go. We are in second. And it's the last lap and we're gaining on Steve Park. This might be Steve Park right here. Oh my God. Are we going to win this race? See you later, buddy. He's got three wheels. Sucks to suck. It's the final quarters. Oh, please, God, no, Phil Parsons. No, all right. What's left of whoever that is is just sliding down the racetrack, and I cannot believe it. If we could just stay out of the way of everybody, but the 77's laying right in my way. Give it to the line. Anything, please, just reverse across it. Give me the dub. We had to go there and earn every last inch of it. Well, there you have that. Another successful set of runs there at Bristol and it put up one hell of a fight, that is for sure. We uh, we got our ass kicked. That is without a doubt, I would say. And we got a lot of asses pummeled and packed inward. And you know what, you'll have that sometimes here in Wreckfest, but we're not done just yet. Because you see, we gotta get back into the swing of things. The work on my house is starting to wind down. I can work on videos more often now. We got the second gauntlet coming up for episode 200. We gotta get our endurance and our attrition up for that event, it's it's going to be a gruesome one, I'm sure. So what better way to practice it than to keep on going? Let's throw low gravity in the mix. All right. Well, let's see what low gravity can do for us here at Bristol. Can we capture two dubs in one day? It's not looking good. It is not looking great. Right from the start, the landing is going to take a hot minute. And that's just something you got to deal with when low gravity's in effect. I can always be a little punk and just hit the reset button, but what's the fun in that? Come on, we gotta do this the tough way. 
Oh my God, where did the 40 just come flying out of the grandstands and into the infield fans? Oh, we need a life check of the fans. I beg for somebody to explain that one to me. I don't think anybody in this world can. As Brent Moffitt takes his life into his own hands and mine as well, and this has not ended well for anybody. And I got something coming up from behind. I'm worried that's gonna be a pack, but he's out of the way. We got one guy doing a dance on the barrels over there, and I get a shot to the fence. And another one up into the wall. Um, I'm in a bad spot. That's a hell of a T-bone. Oh my God, and we're dead. We are dead. Skip the cough and throw me right in the dirt. I just want peace. That's all I can ask, especially in the Space Force that is low gravity mode. Oh, and there's no such thing as peace. <laughs> there never was. And we go face first into the fence. Oh, we're going to catch a nice landing on the banking here. Oh, we're going to get bopped on the way by by a car. And a couple more times probably, too. I don't think we're done quite yet. We might get hit by everybody here if we're not careful. Let's get it moving, please. As somebody goes flying into the infield, into an RV. Oh, my God. Somebody could have been in there just chilling. And now it doesn't matter because I'm going back to my own planet. So who cares? Oh, my God. No, I'm not ready for the fans. Watch out. I think there were people in that tent. Oh, the humanity of this all. Oh, this is maybe the most horrific start to a race I think I've ever seen. We're on the first lap, ladies and gentlemen. Let me remind you of that right now. I don't like the look of Red Byron coming back onto the track. And Dave Marcus tries to be Superman. And look at us now. We're flying towards the fence like Superman and bouncing off of it. This is a joke. We're flying off the pit road now. We got barrels flying everywhere. I'm going to take out the crew while I still can. And I'm going to mow down Karen and keep going. Oh my God, who's this poor sack of trash flying through the air? It's Davey Allison. Oh, Davey. And he, he cleared himself off the air just enough for us to squeak by. We got the white flag in the air. Let's get through this thing and not get destroyed. I get my head caved in immediately on the pit wall. You use that hot start on the apron right here to our advantage. Oh, they're wrecking low though. This is not gonna work out well for us. It almost did. Oh, kick me on my wheels, please. Ah, this is this has not gone well. This this could have gone better. Oh, and I'm gonna get kicked around some more. The physics of this are just fantastic. And I'm finally on the wheels. What can I do about it though? Oh my god, is that Davy again? Not Davy, no, and I'm gonna join him. As I get blasted, he went flying into the fence. And it looks like he's well out of the race now. That is a shame. We were more fortunate, though. We're able to continue. Denny Hamlin just gets shot into the corners, and he's going to wall ride like a beast. Look at him. Oh, they're roadblocking again. Damn, I was hoping he'd be out of the way by the time I'd get there. Dang it. Oh, man, and another blast. Man, everybody's blasting off right here. What is... Man, you gotta hold on to your head right now. Nothing is safe. Oh, man. That was close. I don't like anything that I'm seeing in front of me right now. And our luck's gonna run out finally. Oh, man. That is just a war zone right there. Noah Gregson just floating through the air. Junior Johnson. Come on. We'll, we'll slide into a nice little second place right here. I can't compare. I can't complain too much about that. But what a beaten. Got another hot start on the apron right here. This is where the money's made. And that outside lane might just be hell on earth. I think that's what I'm determined right now. And turn one is just where my dreams go to die. The meme is strong. The meme is stronger than ever. I don't know why I haven't thought about that yet today. But uh, here we are. Oh, he scared me. He intimidated me. Ryan Truex hit the intimidator button on me. And that's it. See ya. Oh my God. Wow, we haven't had this happen to us in a little while. I don't think this ended very well the last time this happened to us either. Oh, come on, another hot start on the bottom. Let's go, but it's getting clogged up down here. There it is. Oh, he got tangled up on the apron. Not the good start I was looking for. Come on, we can gather it up though. We're not out of this thing yet. I just saw somebody go fly. It's another shadow go flying. We got him flying in the exit of the two here. Watch out, got nowhere to go. Cars all in front of me, literally everywhere. Get out of my way, please. More flying in the fence up here. Who's that? Ned Jarrett, couldn't even see. We're making all the spots up, but we're in the first. 
We just took the lead right there. Benny Parsons, one of my heroes, BP, and he's gonna cause me some problems. Oh, a chain reaction on the stretch there. Not helping anyone. Come on, come on, give me that white flag, anything. Vickers nearly just took my life right there. But we're into it. We are into the final lap. This could be it. The second dub of the day is right at our fingertips. I don't need any shenanigans, and there's a lot of them right in front of me right now. We do not need that. Denny, stay in your lane, bud. Go ahead and fall through the stratosphere on someone else's time, because now I am the winner. And I get bopped right after the finish line. How fitting. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another one in the books. Pinball and Moon Gravity have made a very triumphant return. I would say that was fantastico. I enjoyed it a lot. I think we'll be doing it again soon. Maybe at some other track. Maybe Talladega. Maybe somewhere else. I don't know. We got to keep in mind the gauntlet's coming up too. Oh boy, I'm getting I'm getting indigestion just thinking about that. So maybe we should go. Maybe we should wrap it up there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did you know what to do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and with that i'll see you in the next one Peace.